हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रो प्रो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी हैव एंटर इनटू द मंथ ऑफ मार्च एंड टुडे इट इज टाइम टू विजिट आवर नेट हाउस एंड सी व्हाट ऑल ऑर्गेनिक वेजिटेबल्स वी आर गोइंग इनटू इट ड्यूरिंग द विजिट वी विल सी व्हाट ऑल वेजिटेबल्स आर डूइंग हाउ एंड व्हाट द न्यू प्लानिंग वी हैव डन आल्सो वी विल सी व्हाट इज द कंडीशन ऑफ द ओल्ड क्रॉप एंड सी लिटिल सम ऑफ द प्लानिंग so let us start visiting our net house and see what all activities are going on so friends let us start from this right corner and see what all is growing so on our right you have the tomato and the sweet potato mix cropping and you can see the lot of bearing on the tomato and lot of tomato is getting ripened you can also see the sweet potato just started the flowering but yet the vines are still running good so we'll wait for a few more days for the wine to let get little dry on the top end and then we we'll start harvesting it meanwhile we have cucumber lines and in the cucumber lines we have cone now cucumber is now over and cone you can see the lot of damage with the squirrels so this all cone is going to as a fodder to our cattle but you can see that in that few of the line of our uh, yard long bean and still they are growing well this we have planted into the monsoon and still we are harvesting from it but soon we are going to remove this as we have already planted the new line into the net house next in the line is the beets we have put beet with the capsicum so here you can see the capsicum plant and here is the beet plants beet we are regularly harvesting and capsicum will soon start harvesting next in the, with the capsicum is the spinach spinach you can see the lot of spinach is there there is also some damage also there but we are taking only the leaf so we are regularly harvesting this leaf every third day around 8 to 10 kg and regularly supplying it to the organic shop next in the line we have onion and the tomato so here you can see the lot of onion with the cabbage and some tomato plant over here and tomato are bearing good and we are regularly harvesting this tomato at the same time in the next line we have a uh, broccoli with the onion this is also doing good so this is both of line are full of onions with some intercrop as a broccoli tomato onion cabbage etc next in the line is the corn line earlier here it was a a cucumber and we have relay crop this the corn now you can see the corn plants are growing well and they have started bearing the cobs also the cobs have a white mustache soon it will be get ripened once the uh, the top is getting brown we are going to harvest this but the corn is doing good here over here so going to the next line here we have a capsicum line and you can see the capsicum has started bearing so here is a lot of flower on the capsicum and next you can see the capsicum is bare on this plant so likewise we have few plants left with the capsicum and they have started now flowering and fruiting and you can see the onion also over this line in the next line is the tomato and you can see the lot of bearing of the tomato and lot of healthy plant of the tomato over here and again here the onions is are there and they are doing well next line again the capsicum with some coriander and the carrots now here we have a red carrots and you can see the red carrot which we have planted late into the january so they are growing well they have some powdery mildew but we will be overcoming that and soon we'll get start a harvest on this carrot line in the next line we are planning for new two two things earlier here was the sponge guard now we have remove all the sponge guard from the column line and here it was the uh, pole type bin we have remove both of them and now preparing the bed in one bed we are planning to have watermelon or muskmelon and in this bed we are going to plant again the corn with some intercrop again the next line is the chili with the next line again it was the local type of pole bin which we have removed and we are going to soon plant some summer vegetables over here moving further 
दिस वॉज अवर न्यू कैरेट लाइन विच वी हैव प्लांटेड लेट इन टू द जनवरी एंड यू कैन सी द लॉट ऑफ कैरेट प्लांट्स ओवर हियर ऑल दो द जर्मिनेशन इज लेस बट द प्लांट हेल्थ इज गुड सो वी आर गोइंग टू गेट गुड हार्वेस्ट फ्रॉम दिस कैरेट लाइन आफ्टर प्लांटिंग कैरेट इन द एंड ऑफ जनवरी और इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द फरवरी वी हैव प्लांटेड इट विद द ओकरा एंड नाउ यू कैन सी द ओकरा लाइन्स ओवर हियर एंड दे आर ऑलमोस्ट at the stage we have just started the developing the buds so soon it will start flowering and give fruiting around 15 days we are going to start harvest from this okra lines in the next line we have mixed cropping of the chili with the cabbage and some marigold so this line is doing okay but in the next line is a potato line you can see the potato is now dying back so we have to stop the water and take it out the potato after 10 15 days but in meanwhile you can see the coriander also into this and they are doing good we have harvested a lot of coriander from this and we will harvest it for another couple of time and then we will dig out all the potato from this line in the next line earlier we have a bottle guard still we have couple of plant left with a bottle guard and still some bottle guard is setting it up but now we are not going to take it more as we have planted corn as a relay crop into it so corn is already sprouted and established now we just need to remove this uh, bottle guard vine and allow corn to grow fully in the next line is the black carrot line in this black carrot line we have lot of harvest from this line and you can see that the very good size of the black carrot over here so we are getting many such carrots from this whole line so we are taking only the big carrots and still we are getting regular carrots and every third day we are harvesting 8 to 10 kg and we will continue this for another 15 20 days and then we will be removing this in the next line again the chili cabbage and some marigold is there in these three lines we have potato this was the first line of the potato put in the november so we have just harvested this potato from this line we have got the moderate size of tuber from this but many into the numbers now we have re prepared this bed and going to sow with some melons here are the another two potato lines which is on the dying or the dying back so this again we need to stop the water for 10 15 days and then we will take it out the potatoes but we need to wait for another 15 days till we dig out the potatoes in this potato line you can see that all the almost all the plants are gone very few plants are left but here we have put the fenugreek as a intercrop and you can see the fenugreek has grown bigger and started developing the pod so we have we are going to keep this fenugreek here for another 10 15 days and take the fenugreek seed from this which we can use for the seed next in the line the chili line and now in this line it is the bush bean this bush bean we have planted into the monsoon and surprisingly it is still continue up to the march so it is almost 8 to 9 month since it is continuously giving us flower and fruit you can still see that still it is bearing lot of pods and we are regularly harvesting from here in the next line you can see that we have mix crop of zucchini and sweet pea zucchini and sweet pea we have trial first time and you can see the very good growth of the zucchini just 30 35 days old and it has already started developing flower so soon we are expecting some fruits from this line here for the peas you can see the peas have started climbing the trellis here we have made this net type trellis i have put the video on the net type trellis couple of days back this is the one of the simplest method for supporting the mining plant in the next line we have old okra line which we have planted into monsoon and we have taken a recut and try to regenerate it is regenerate but giving the fruit also but not with the very good quality but still we are taking some fruit which is good in quality but now we have interplanted it with watermelon here you can see the watermelon plants germinated and established now the mining stage is started so just at the mining stage we will remove this okra and let the watermelon grow 
fully next in the line is again the pole type bin which is new but now got damage we are going to take one or two harvests from it and then remove it here in these two lines we have already cultivated it and made with the new beds earlier the pumpkin were here we have harvested a lot of pumpkin from here and now we have removed all the pumpkin and made two beds on the left side we are going to put some melon plants and on the right side on the column line we are going to put corn and uh, cowpea we are very successful into the mix roping of the corn with the legume pro crop like corn plus a french bean corn plus the bush bean so now we are trying corn with the cowpea so here we are going to put corn with the cowpea next in the line is the mix roping of the okra and the bush bean now bush bean we have planted earlier and you can see the bush bean is bearing the pods and in this lines we have interplanted it with the red okra and you can see the red okra plants are grown well they are also at the budding stage so soon it will start developing flowers and we are going to get harvest within 10 to 15 days from this lines once we start full harvest from the okra lines we are going to remove this bush beans next in the line we have another combination of the mix crop here we have put cucumber with the cluster bean now you can see that cucumber plant are high enough and bearing started bearing fruits at the same time you can see the cluster bean they also started flowering you can see the cucumber bearing as well as the cluster bean flowering so this is the another trial we have taken with the uh, cluster bean here also we have a net type trellis for the cucumber on the other part but the stick column we are just going to hang the cucumber like this with the single line trellis or single thread trellis and see what is the result in the next lines we have the melons over here in the next is the chili although many plants are lost but still they are doing good in the next line we have again the okra line which is still continue with the new shoot but not result is not expected as we are anticipated but in this lines we have already started with the muskmelon so muskmelon will take over the place in this okra lines and we'll get the melon from this here in this line now you can see the corn and the french bean this is the one of the best combination we found this season with corn french bean is flourish very well and here you can see the lot of french bean is setting it up this crop is only 30 35 days old and you can see the growth of the corn as well as the french bean we have got very good result with this combination next in the line is again the melon line so melon has just started flowering and we have removed the cover from these lines and in the next line we have a papaya papaya you can see they have started bearing here you can see the bearing of the papaya over the small plant it is only 2 and a half 3 feet plant and you can see already they have started fruiting so soon we are going to get the papaya from this line in the next line again this is a muskmelon and you can see that flowering is started and we have just removed the cover so that we can take advantage of this flower and once the flower is set into fruit we'll get the melon harvest on the left column line here we have a, all this a radish we have kept it for the seed you can see the lot of flowering and pot is setting for the radish seeds here so we are going to harvest some of the seeds from this in this line we have replaced or intercropped it with some ivy gourd and you can see the ivy gourd plants are running now we need to soon make the trellis for it so that it can climb up and start giving us the fruit and in the last line we have onion for the seed and you can see the very healthy growth of the onion plants and they already developed the bulbs for seed now with the help of the bee box kept in the middle we have got the good pollination 
and we are going to get the very good seed harvest for the next season so friends this is all about our all the vegetables growing into the organic net house friends how do you like my method of mix cropping relay cropping or growing multiple vegetable into the same place please write me back into the comment box this type of method will not only help you to grow more but it will also help you to protect your plant from disease and insects spreading all over and with this way you can also grow and have your fresh vegetables as well as you can supply it to the nearby shops you can also prepare a model like this and grow your organic vegetables at your home and enjoy happy growing